Hi everyone, today we're going to look at why you should use links instead of workflow actions when building your bubble app if you're concerned with SEO. This is Qualify.e, it's a new job or site that I've built on Bubble, been running for just over a year now. And what we're going to look at is the way this page is structured. So this is a fairly basic repeating group structure with various different jobs uh, populating the repeating group. If you click on any individual element, you're brought to this jobs page and the data for that job populates the page and you basically get a nice looking jobs page with all the, the relevant information. Now, I haven't really done a great job of optimizing the index page for SEO. And one of the reasons for that is if you look at the way I'm navigating from the home page over to the jobs page, it's done by a workflow action. And it's really simple. You know, it says when group grid is clicked, we're going to go to page jobs and send that parent group's job. So it gets the job done. From an SEO perspective, it doesn't really help Google crawl all these job pages. Uh, you'll see if I right click on the job, and we'll just click on the title specifically, just to highlight it, and we click inspect, you'll be brought into the Chrome Developer Tools. And what you'll see is there's no embedded hyperlink in here at all. There's no link for Google to crawl to know that this is a link to another page. If we contrast this with We Work Remotely, which is a really cool remote job board site, and we right click on any of their jobs and go to inspect, what you'll see in the DOM, which is this uh, list of elements that's brought up here, you'll see that there is indeed a link. And Google's gonna see this when it crawls their homepage and it's therefore gonna go into that jobs page and crawl that as well. So we don't have that at the moment, uh, but we can get it. Before we do, I just wanna highlight why this is important. If you go into Google Search Console, which hopefully you've set up, this is my one here for qualified, and if you look at the pages that have been crawled by Google, you'll see here I have 41 pages that have been excluded. And most of them are discovered, so Google knows they exist because I've submitted a sitemap with those job pages in them, but they're not indexed. And I suspect that a big part of why they're not indexed is because I don't have the links to these job pages anywhere else on the site. The pages are almost in isolation because there's no other pages feeding to them. It might seem like there is from the user perspective because again, we can navigate to and via the workflows, but from a, a Google's perspective, they're not easily crawled. So we're gonna make it a bit easier. Uh, we're gonna go back to our index page. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the job title and we are going to go to replace by another type. And we're gonna replace it with a link. And I'm just gonna do some quick styling to make sure that this looks like all the other ones. So we're gonna to go to internal page, we're gonna to go to jobs. I'm just gonna change it to the style I made earlier. Another tip is you should always use styles where possible because otherwise Google will have to, to load a style for each individual element, each page load. Whereas if you have a style, it only has to go once per page. Okay, so that's done. We're going to deploy that to live. And hopefully what we should see when we reload our app uh, is that we'll now have that hyperlink uh, embedded into the DOM, much like WeWork Remote does, which in turn should hopefully make it easier for Google to crawl all those jobs pages and help us pick up some, some long tail um, searches. So I'm just loading up here, and then once it's loaded, if I said, okay, so loaded up, and if we right click and we go to inspect, you will see that in our Chrome Developer Tools here in the Elements tab, there is now an embedded link. So again, this makes it a lot easier for Google to, to crawl all those jobs pages, which should again, hopefully help us in terms of Google search traffic. So that's it for this tutorial. If you would like to see some more Bubble SEO tips, please do subscribe to the channel. I'm putting these out as I work on my own Bubble app.